Hey, I'm Super Senpai, and I just got first place in Pac-Man 99, and it actually wasn't that hard compared to Tetris 99, and it's a lot of fun, so I'm gonna show you guys how to get first place in Pac-Man 99. Notice me, Senpai! Notice me! Number one, know the basics of Pac-Man. You eat small dogs, then you eat bigger dogs, and you become immune to ghosts. If the ghost touches you, you die. If you eat the big dogs, you're immune, and you can eat ghosts. That's the basics of Pac-Man. Number two, this is where the game changes from Pac-Man to Pac-Man 99. You do not need to eat all the dots, but you need to eat over 50% of them because it refreshes the board. See, after going around the map, once a resource is used, that's it. No more power-ups, you're dead. However, if you eat over 50% of the dots, all the dots will be refreshed. And so you will have the power-ups just to cycle again and again, over and over again. What's really important is the baby ghost near the entrances. When you kill a ghost, either Inky, Blinky, Pinky, or Clyde, that's really his name. You send one ghost to your opponent. Those ghosts create a fake Pac-Man that slows down your opponent on their screen if they touch you and they go to your screen if your opponent sends them to you. The more fake ghosts that touch you, the slower you are and the more likely Clyde's going to kill you. Seriously, Clyde, they could have made it rhyme like Tinky. Also, your opponent can send over a red fake Pac-Man. If no, they touch shit. you, ah. this isn't death. And I hate them so much and they come out of the top 20. Let's talk about the baby ghosts again. They're just like little dots, but once they're eaten, this will allow Cloud to have a plus one for every ghost you eat. This allows you to send combos, but once you eat a power dot, you should send over 30 ghosts in one go towards your opponent. This is super key in the game because this knocks out the opponents for you. And this allows you to have a stance of clearing out and saving you some time actually. When you eat the ghost, it actually helps you slow down the game a bit so you can figure out where to go next. Now we're done here, we're going to talk about the mechanics of how to play Pac-Man 99. So there's two menus. There's a menu on the left and I don't really care about that one, I have no idea what it does. The menu on the right is more important because there's two key functions just like Tetris 99. And that's knockout and counter. If you were to knock out, your ghost would be sent over to the player with the who's closest to death. And counter sends back to ghosts that people are trying to attack you. Also the more players you knock out, the higher your multiplier is for ghost multiplier. So this allows you to set, instead of sending one ghost, you send three, you send six ghosts. That's like if you have a Clyde that's super fat because you gave him 30 baby ghosts, you eat that whole Clyde and that's going to knock out someone in one go. Once you become really aggro, you switch back to counter so that you are you are not automatically targeted towards the game system saying that they want to knock you out. But also this allows you so if someone tries to knock you out, most likely they're not defending. So you have your multiplier ready to go, you just push back at them and you can knock them out from trying to knock you out. So that's the way you're supposed to use those two controls. The other two controls are eh. Now how to get first play. Oh my god I got first! Holy Think of the map in four different corners. You first start off in the middle, you want to collect as many small dots as you can, and you want to collect all the baby ghosts as fast as you can. Then you start going into the corners and you start collecting all the little dots and then the power dots if a ghost is near you, or you're ready to move on to another corner. This way you're immune and you can eat ghosts, and most likely everything's slowed down so it's easier for you to go to the other side. Once you collect all the baby ghosts, you go after Clyde, eat all of Clyde, and then you can send them over to your opponent to start knocking them over because the multiplier is key at end game because you don't want to be the weaker person trying to knock out someone while the other opponents have huge multipliers that can knock you out faster. And then you just repeat. You collect the pellets and the baby ghosts, then you collect the power dots. After that, then you go straight back in towards getting the fruit to reset everything and then repeat over and over again. In this process, initially, you should be in knockout phase so you can knock out people. But when you start hitting top 30, you can switch to counter if you're not comfortable. Or if you're really learning to be aggro, go for KO. But if you want to go for first place, counter is probably a safer measure. You won't be the first person to be targeted compared to the others. And secondly, you can start knocking out people who are trying to get back at you because they're not going to be able to defend themselves. In the top 20, fake red Pac-Man comes up. You want to avoid them all costs or else you're going to die. Start collecting the power dots as fast as you can because then everything slows down. Then you slowly start getting towards all the regular smaller dots, get the refresh, and again and again and again. The whole point of the game is not a race to start knocking out people, it's a marathon. So the slower you can make your game, every time you get the power dots, you slow down the game, it's easier for you to control, easy for you to see where the red Pac-Mans are, the, where the big Pac-Mans are, and then you honestly win! I forgot to also mention the power dots also get rid of the fake Pac-Man 2 in some cases, but that's not as, um, well I guess that is kind of important. But yeah, for me it took 10 tries to get it, but I didn't win in 10 tries, so that was actually maybe 20 tries, but even then, it is doable for everyone to do, so I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this guy helped out and Pac-Man 99 is actually a really fun game. I strongly recommend everyone to try it out. And I'll probably try again to get first place again later this month. But best of luck for everyone and f*** Clyde. 
Screw actually trying to kill. I just need to survive like just a little bit longer. Uh, 